You know, there's no need for you to worry yourself. It was for my own sake that I did all that. It wasn't for you in particular. It's just my nature. I'd rather fight with my sword than run away, that's all. So that's the only reason? You fought a hundred men because it's not in your nature to run away. Yeah, pretty much. Besides, I owed that bastard some payback. My memory of things is a bit unclear. I was lost in the swordplay. But to tell you the truth, there was something I just couldn't get out of my head. Compared to what you're trying to do, me fighting a hundred men means nothing. It has no purpose. I'm not talking about just you. I mean Griffith also. The two of you have something important that you can stake your lives on. I think it's great. I truly mean that. Compared to the strength of that purpose, whether I face a hundred men in battle or even a thousand seems like nothing but a random act. Guts, I... Some view, huh? Gaston doesn't think he's very suited for army life. His intention is to start a tailoring business with the money he's earned when this war is over. He's very good with his hands, though he may not look it. Nicole had proposed to a woman who refused him once. Apparently she didn't want to marry a common soldier. So he declared that he would get promoted as soon as possible so he could ask her again. That's why he tends to be reckless and overextends himself in battle. It seems to me that everybody stakes their lives in a lost cause. Looking over them all from up here, I almost think I can see their hopes and dreams flickering in each little light. Like a bonfire of dreams. Well, that was beautiful. You sounded like the princess talking. <laughs> Don't say that. But I understand. It's like each one of them has his own little light, or a small flame that he brings to the Band of the Hawk. Yeah. And to ensure that those weaker flames don't go out, each man casts his own into the strongest fire of them all. A raging fire. That is Griffith. My light isn't to be seen among them. Still, after all this time, it seems that I'm just someone who stopped to warm himself at the bonfire in passing. Guts. So long as I have my sword to fight with, I'm sure to survive. Year after year, I prove it to be true. Before joining the Hawks, I always survived. No matter the odds, no matter how hopeless a losing battle, this time was no different. In truth, I don't believe that's any way to live one's life. I've been fighting in battles for as long as I can remember. The mercenary leader who raised me taught me nothing except how to wield a sword. I've never had anything except my sword. I don't want to die. For me, that is the only reason I keep fighting. There is nothing to save myself for or give myself to. I fight because I know nothing else. Once I was willing to do just that, to commit myself to fighting, and let anyone else find a reason for me. Guts. <laughs> anyway, I imagine this all sounds pretty dumb. I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm not even sure why I did. It's pretty pathetic. So am I. 